Hello everyone, Jeff Duncan, Luke Johnson. We're here at the Superdome where the Saints have defeated the uh, Philadelphia Eagles 48-7. to Almost forgot who they beat because <laughs> it's almost like Groundhog Day, yeah. the way this team's playing right now. Nine wins in a row for the Saints. And it seems, if this is possible, Luke, that the Saints are getting better each week. And that's saying something concerning the way they've been playing. Yeah, I, I, I thought maybe uh, that 35-point that first half against the Rams was the best they'd, right. uh, they'd put together. And then they, they topped it. Uh, last week against the Bengals, and I think they put together an even more complete performance this week. If that was possible from that beatdown last week, uh, yeah, considering I, the opponent, right? The, the mean, Eagles, the Eagles are a better team. Carson Wentz was playing at an unreal level, mm -hmm. and the guy went out and had a 31.9 quarterback rating with three picks today, mm -hmm. 156 passing yards for Carson Wentz, um, who'd been averaging like 300 over his last five games. Uh, yeah, I mean that was a completely dominant performance. Um, I, I, I can't remember seeing a, a defending Super Bowl champion getting beat that bad, uh, and it, it was it was over from uh, from I think the the middle of the second quarter when, when Sheldon Rankins had that that big sack mm -hmm. on third down. Saints scored four straight touchdowns after that. Uh, yeah, just a complete dismantling. And we're look we're used to the Saints offense putting up incredible numbers. Drew Brees once again. An unbelievable day, four touchdown passes to four different receivers, 356 yards. His passer rating was matched the fifth highest of his career, tied for the highest of this season. And, look, he just lit up an injury-riddled Eagles uh, secondary for the most part. Uh, but I think what we're seeing today and what you alluded to is the Saints' defense coming on. They've made yeah. incredible improvements the last few weeks. And when they're playing like this to complement the Saints' offense, I mean, they're almost unbeatable. Yeah, I think if you if you uh, go back since uh, the Atlanta game when when they they were kind of shredded in that game, I think they were they're giving up less than 20 points per game over. Mm -hmm. I guess it's their, their last seven games, right. forcing a bunch of turnovers. Uh, I don't know exactly what the Eagles' numbers were on third down today, but they probably weren't good. And the Bengals didn't convert a single one last week. Mm -hmm. I think they're just it, you, you're seeing them play excellent complementary football in all phases, you know, whether it's the defense complementing the offense, or if it's the run game complementing Drew Brees, or if it's the secondary receiving options complementing Mike Thomas like they did today. Right. I think just top to bottom, uh, this is this is a, a team playing at an incredibly high level in every phase of the game. Even if, if they're kickers, they, uh, right. Will, Will Lutz hasn't missed. hasn't missed since week two. Thomas Morstead isn't being used. Mark Ingram's like, yeah, we're putting that leg on ice until we need it. So uh, I, they, they're just playing unreal right now. Yeah, I mean, they're the best team in the NFL right now. There's no question about it. No. I think if you ask the Philadelphia Eagles, I think they would attest to that, and they are the defending Super Bowl champions. But the thing that's impressive about this team is, despite all the wins, despite as well as they're playing, uh, they're not losing focus. They're continuing to show up every week. There is almost a hunger to this team that I think is impressive because – uh, let's face it, I mean, it'd be easy to have a letdown when you're eating teams up the way they are. Uh, but I don't see any in sight right now. If anything, I think this team is so confident. They're looking forward to playing every Sunday because they know they're playing so well. I think they're having right. so much fun. I think I think you're right. I, I mean, you look at some of these teams, they're just throttling right now. You're talking about the Vikings, the Rams, uh, you know, Bengals and the Eagles are not pushovers. Yeah, the Redskins. Uh, Redskins, uh, Ravens. Mm hmm I mean, I think when you looked at that six-game stretch uh, at the beginning of the season, you were like, man, I, they'd be really lucky if they can get four wins out of that. And instead, they're just owning everybody they're playing in that stretch, which is crazy to me. Uh, so I think you're right. I, I think there's a high degree of confidence to this team, and, and they're really looking forward to seeing, all right, like, what do we got next? Like, like how, how can we improve on, on what we just did? I, it's really impressive to watch. Well, look, they don't have much time to uh – you know, marinate on this one because they got a short week this week. And right back here on Thursday night, Thanksgiving night in New Orleans, in the Superdome, they got the arch rival Atlanta Falcons. And the Saints can uh, once again kind of put another whipping on the Falcons, I think, a team that they always enjoy beating and could put some more distance between themselves and the rest of the NFC South. Uh, we will be back here with all our coverage on NOLA.com, the Times Picayune. So check it out the rest of the week. And thanks for joining us.